Hi, my name is Jen Rose. I work at Richland College and I'm here to demonstrate how to make a plate on the wheel um, and then do some sgraffito and printmaking techniques on top of it. So these are pretty simple forms um, and making a plate on the wheel is, uh, is pretty easy. I'm just going to center my clay, turn the wheel on. Pulling it out and then I'm recentering. And you'd be surprised how much clay you go through just making a plate. I want it to be about at least half an inch wide or thick. This is going to be a small plate. Use your rib to compress the clay. To go back and forth. And that relieves some of the tension. All right, so I have my disc. And I'm just gonna cut that off. it straight up off the wheel and put that on a plaster slab to dry for a few minutes. The next thing I'm going to do is just throw a very small foot that's a ring that I'm throwing separately and that's going to go uh, attach later to the bottom of the piece. And this time I'm going to open in the middle and go all the way to the wheel head and pull that out. Alright. And again I'm just going to pick this up straight off the wheel and put it on my plaster slab. Okay, so I am back in the studio and I have the plate that we threw on the wheel and the foot as well. So I'm just going to put this on my hump mold that I have here, plaster hump mold. And this is still really wet. I mean, we just threw it just a minute ago. All right, so I'm going to lay it down. And I threw it down pretty hard because I want it to be a little bit organic and misshapen slightly. So, I have um, the foot that I threw as well. This up. And I'm just going to do a little bit of scoring. I neglected to bring my needle tool in this room, so we're using my exacto blade, which does the same thing. Because this is so wet, I'm not going to worry about slipping. Um, it's very I will put that on there, push it down, I will do a little bit of scoring on the side. Side and I can go back and clean it up in just a minute. It needs to stiffen up until it's a good leather hard anyway, leather hard stage. And I have a plate here which already has the foot attached. This I cut the foot into two sections. So you can do the whole thing or if it's a little big you can cut it down. Um, the next step for decoration and surface design 
I'm going to put a layer of slip down, which is going to be a base, which I can draw through. So this is white, sticks to anything slip. That's the official recipe name. And I'm just going to brush a layer on that's pretty thin. And I might even come back and do a separate coat once that stiffens up a little bit. And I can clean up my edges. So from here, we're going to let that stiffen up just a few minutes, and then I'll come back and do some drawing and some silk screen on top of this. Okay, so I'm back, and our plates have set up to the leather hard stage. Um, I have brushed some slip on them, so everything is nice and uh, leather hard, ready to go. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do, I have a little screen with some images burned into it. Uh, and I'm going to just put this lighthouse image right up here. And there are lots of videos that people have been um, doing that talk about printing on clay. You can do several techniques. Um, I'm just rubbing a little bit of um, underglaze through the screen with my finger. I'm not expecting this to come out perfectly because I'm going to go and emphasize the lines and draw the lines right after this. So that's okay. That's not a horrible print and I can work with that. So anyway, I'm going to do some drawing and uh, finish this up. So here's the finished image and I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning up, but let me show you one that I have that has already been completed. So you can see you can have a lot of fun just playing with the printed image on top of some scrofito work.